Hello, Mayday family. How are you guys doing today? I'm so happy to be with you guys today. I missed you over the weekend. <laughs> so today we're going to talk about a topic that is not talked about nearly enough if ever family bullying bullying amongst family members yes it is a real thing you wouldn't think it would be because they're your family but it is and it's real and it happens every day a lot so let's get started so it's just a lot of bullying going around and it's always been around i know it's always been around because i was bullied as a kid as a child and but i just believe that now in today's day and age it's a little bit more rampant it happens to grown-ups too it's not just teenagers that get bullied and in your family guys even family members bully each other and you'd be surprised there's, there's a lot of bullying that goes on among family members a lot of people get hurt by what other family members say and it's even worse because other family members don't know that they're doing it or don't know that they're causing as much damage as they actually are because they're family members and they just think it's funny and they say it over and over and over again and then you hear it over and over and over again. I think that's a topic that is seldom discussed if ever and it's such an important topic because bullying among family happens every time on a daily basis it's rampant and it's one of the worst forms of bullying and it's also unfortunately one of the hardest forms of bullying to actually detect it could actually be the case that you're being bullied by family members and you don't even know that you're being bullied right because you just figure that they're family members and you know so it's okay but it's not if you're currently being bullied by a family member and the way you'll know is whatever it is that they say it hurts your feelings sometimes or a lot of times they will say it over and over again for example if they call you overweight or they call you fat or they call you names or they have like a nickname for you like piggy or something stupid like that and they always call you that that's that guys the first thing i want you to realize is it's that's a form of bullying I know it's your family member, your family, so you don't, you might not necessarily want to say anything to them, but guys, that's a form of bullying. That actually is a form of bullying in order to be able to do anything about it. So if you have family members that call you names and they're, they say things like, oh, you, you know, you just like gain so much weight and you're so fat. I know what it is to be bullied among family members. As I grew up, what happened was I really started to assert myself a lot more. There was a lot less that I was willing to put up with, even though they are my family and I care and I love them very much. I started to set a lot more boundaries because I felt like it was necessary for me to do so. Otherwise, I could put myself in a situation where I don't want to be around my family because they are not contributing uh, to the environment that I I am the most productive and successful in. I had to um, start letting those boundaries be, be known a lot more as well. And, uh, you know, and I just had to have a, a lot of communication. Bullying usually looks like among family members is they will call you names. They'll have like these nicknames for you that are insanely rude. I had a friend and their family members used to call her like Piggy or something like that. That's bullying. Like, there's no reason to call anybody else Piggy. I don't even know what that, that means. So, <laughs> so things like that, like th so, things that are seemingly subtle in that way, but are actually bullying. If they um, are constantly telling you that you're fat or you've gained weight and they're always telling you as though you didn't hear them the first time that they said it and they just need to like always repeat it or something or they always make fun of the way you dress or something like that and so if you're being bullied among your family members the first thing to do is to watch out for those signs and recognize that uh, you are actually being bullied and even more hurtful so you're being bullied by 
um, your own family. So um, that's the first thing that you need to do. And the second thing that you need to do is, is remember that you always want to be respectful of your family members and your parents or your siblings or your aunts, whatever it is. You do always want to try and be as respectful as possible. Now, if you're a teenager, same thing, same thing. I know nowadays it's kind of like, but if you're a teenager, it's also the same thing, right? Like you're and you're being bullied by family members. You shouldn't, you shouldn't have to uh, put up with that or live in that kind of environment just because you're a teenager. But yeah, the second thing you you do want to remember, you always want to be respectful of your family members. The reason why I'm emphasizing that is if you realize that you're being bullied and it's, it's something that's hurting your feelings and most people do realize that they're being bullied by their family because it hurts their feelings like every time that they are being called that particular name or every time that they're being made fun of by their brothers or whatever it is that it may be you know their feelings get really hurt and it, it affects them in a little bit of a larger way so so what I mean by being respectful is the way to go about it isn't to uh, approach the situation in a very aggressive manner and a very just kind of like demeaning manner and start you know like insulting them in return that that doesn't help anything right it's just kind of puts a strain on your uh, relationship with your family members so you want to remain calm and just re remain in a in, in a positive space and remember that what you're trying to do is communicate your feelings to them in the most effective way without hurting any feelings I mean you're not trying to hurt their feelings but you are trying to let them know that what they're doing isn't okay it hurts your feelings and you want it to stop and that you do have you know boundaries or rights of your own if you're a teenager you do have rights to not have to live in an environment that's somewhat abusive if you're being bullied in, in that environment and if it's affecting you and affecting your mood so so you don't want to like start yelling or start <laughs> cussing or, or whatever all those unnecessary things you want to try your best to be as calm as possible the next thing that you need to do is have conversations um this is probably the hardest part uh, after you after picking out who those members are and it could be several members of your family that do the same thing so you might have to have conversations with all of them uh, or whoever the lead the leader is or whoever people listen to you might want to have a conversation with that person first and then get that person on your side and then both of you can have conversations with other family members um, afterwards uh, and that could be your your mom, for example. Like in my case, it would probably be my mom or my oldest brother. I could reach out to any one of them, and then the domino effect can go from there. Uh, but I, I have conversations with with all of them. It just kind of depends. But uh, so you want to figure out who you want to have the conversation with first, or if you want to have the conversation with every all of them at the same time, that's fine too. And then you need to start having those conversations. Make sure that you know what your, your boundaries are and what's upsetting you. That way you can effectively communicate that to them. Does that make sense? So if... If what's upsetting you is that they call you names like Piggy and they constantly remind you of how fat you are as though you didn't hear them the first time that they said it, then be specific about that. Be very, very specific when you're talking to them. Give them examples so they understand what it is that's upsetting you and so they know that this is what they're doing that's upsetting you and these are the things that they're saying and be very, very specific about it and be serious about it and say something along the lines of I love you guys I care about you but when you call me names like piggy or you constantly bash my weight or remind me that I'm so fat it really hurts my feelings and I would really like that to stop I do feel like I have certain rights and I'm trying to live in a more positive environment and that is not contributing positively into my life and into the environment that I'm trying to lead. Or uh, you could also say something like, if you 
have any feedback for me that you want to give me if you could please find a more constructive way of giving me that feedback that would be really really helpful as well but you need to start having conversations and this is the most important step because here's the thing no one's a mind reader and if you don't say it if you don't say what your boundaries are and enforce those then people are just gonna keep doing what they're doing right so um, you definitely want to make sure to communicate, especially if you're a teenager. It could be a little bit of an unchattered territory because you are a teenager. You're still a teenager. You're still so young. But you could pull your mom to the side or your dad to the side and say, Dad or Mom, I don't really like it when you call me those names. Or whoever your brother or sister, I don't really like it when you call me those names. Could you not do it? It hurts my feelings. And it's not helping me improve. It's actually making everything worse so I'm aware of all those things like whatever it is that you're saying I I I'm acknowledging that that's how you feel but it, it's not contributing positive positively into my life so I would really really like it to stop uh, especially if you love and you care about me uh, I, I feel like this is something that you could do for me you know, so as a teenager, there's also ways of going about that. But you need to start having those conversations because that's the only way. Guys, being quiet isn't going to help. Yelling isn't going to help. Start, start like cussing people out isn't going to help. And bottling everything inside of you isn't going to help. Getting angry and crying alone in the corner in a room, that's what most people are liable to do. They don't want to say anything. So when they're alone, they think about it. It, it just torments them and they're like crying in a corner in a room that's not gonna help guess what because they're just gonna do it again the next time and so you don't have to cry alone in a corner in a room don't do that just communicate your standards to them and communicate what how it is that you want to be treated and people would treat you how it is that you want to be treated and you need to let them know like hey I don't like those nicknames please don't call me that and uh, yeah you just need to communicate that with them that's where it all starts it's so essential guys for you guys to communicate with them it's so so essential so please start from there uh, and once you've started to have those conversations you should you should start to see and notice the changes where they you know they stop with those the name calling or whatever it is especially if they truly care and they truly love you the final step after having those conversations is to watch for changes in behavior so make sure that their behavior is actually changing and they're not calling you those names and if some family members are still doing it and some aren't then that's good right but keep having the conversation it might take more than one conversation to get this done guys it might because you're dealing with family members and when you're dealing with family members things can get a little sticky or take a little bit longer so you might have to have more than one conversation you might have to call them out on the spot when they do it right so if they do it Call them out on the spot. T say something. Like if they call you piggy, like, hey, don't call me that, please. I don't appreciate you calling me that. I know we we've had that conversation. Could you please not do that? So call them out on the spot. So that way, over time, they change that behavior. Uh, so that's the change that you're wanting to look out for. And that's the change that you should be on the lookout for. Okay? So good luck guys i love you guys thank you for joining me today i so appreciate your time and uh sorry for the format the format is a little bit different i just wanted to do something a little bit different uh because i like to take you guys around with me you know like walk around and all that good stuff so uh let me know if you have any questions or comments below i know this is a very big topic so more videos to come on that same topic and i will talk to you guys soon Okay, bye-bye.